going on guys doom zeus here and today i'm bringing you guys another gameplay commentary over on the we are doom clan channel i know it's been a while since i have brought you guys a gameplay over here but i've been just kind of busy with in real life stuff i don't want to really get into that because i want to discuss the gameplay you guys are watching in the background which is an fmg9 silence double ffa mod by the ffa god himself doom rinaldi uh, just absolutely amazing gameplay uh, obviously some of the best gameplays on doom are with the fmg9 silence uh, and by that, I mean just pretty much the Penta Moab on downturn by Doom Crackers, which is absolutely insane in itself. But the fact that he was able to get two mobs in FFA, just it, <laughs> it's really baffling because, you know, I've actually gone for this myself. Just trying to get a single FFA Moab with the FMG9 Silence, and it is impossible. You guys can't even begin to comprehend how much freaking recoil this gun has. It's absolutely insane. So, the fact that he's able to get two in one 10 minute match is absolutely nuts. So, I hope you guys enjoy that in the background. Remember to go down into the description below to check out his channel. And if you guys enjoyed my sexy and seducing voice over the gameplay, remember to check out my channel as well. So what I want to talk to you guys about today is something a bit different. It's not really COD related, it's something more about the universe and just life in general, and that is going to be time travel. So I'm going to give you my quick thoughts on time travel, how I think it could work and all that, and most importantly though, I want you guys to go down to the comment section below and leave your thoughts on time travel, leave your thoughts on what I said, and yeah, we'll have a nice discussion down in the comments. So I want to open up with the fact that yes, I think time travel is possible. And the reason I say this is because I've read a lot of articles recently, and if I can remember, I will link uh, OBJ or Cold, whoever's putting this up, to link some of the articles in the description. But uh, I've been reading a lot about time travel recently, and a lot of physicists and scientists agree that time travel is possible. However, lately, the general consensus has been uh, about why we're not doing it yet is really, well, two or three things, actually. So the first one is the fuel and how much it would cost to run something like this. And the amount of energy that would need be needed to run something like this would cost billions of dollars in fuel. So right off the bat, there's just there's no one out there with that kind of money. Well, there is, but there's no one really out there funding a project like this. Which is kind of weird because you'd think a lot of people would want time travel to be possible. Uh, but that kind of falls into the second thing, which, which is... What if time travel gets into the wrong hands, right? Uh, what if someone were to go back and, like, steal something? Or go back in time... And, like, watch stocks. Like, or rather, go to the present day, see the stocks, and then go back in time and just make themselves really rich, right? So, time travel is not something that I think will ever be uh, available to the mainstream. It just it just wouldn't work. Uh, if everyone was able to time travel, all these different, like, changes, they would just completely destroy the entire universe. Uh, I'm going to get into that in a second. But the third thing is, a lot of scientists agree that... Time travel would only be possible until the point where there is a time machine built and working, right? That, so that kind of makes sense. At first, it didn't make sense. But now that I think about it, there has to be a something that can receive uh, you from the time machine, if that makes sense. So you're going to be able to, let's say, 10 years in the future, right? Let's say five years from now, we build a time machine. And then 10 years from now, oh, you know, we're in a time machine. We want to go back to a time. The only point we can go to is, you know, five years from now. It's the earliest point you can go back you can't go back to the revolutionary war or the civil war you have to go to the point where the time machine is completely built and ready to work because there, there has to be something that the time machine can send you to there has to be another access point if that makes any sense so you're not just going to be able to send yourself into like the middle of the ocean during like the dinosaur times it just wouldn't make sense so really realistically that really wouldn't that's not really the idea a lot of people have when they think of time travel a lot of people think of movies like back to the future that that kind of stuff really isn't possible just using logic maybe sometime in the future like i'm talking really really far ahead in the future something like that could be possible but uh, as of right now it's really not so another thing is uh, people we don't know how the universe exactly would react to time travel right if you were to go back in time and like i said before go back and use your knowledge of the stocks to change something right or you go back in time and you kill someone in a past timeline you know how would that affect the present because time is a relative thing right so uh, using that like our time right now like me talking to you this is the present you're listening to this commentary this is our present however there's also a you that's three seconds ahead in the future and to him that's the present there's also a you in the th like three seconds ago listening to this commentary that's the present to him so if that makes sense so time's a relative thing so would it really affect the timeline or would it really only affect that 
particular moment that you went back to, and then that would branch off into another timeline and just create an entire universe, or multiverse, actually, uh, which is something that are, is mentioned a lot in comics, actually. Uh, like, the Marvel Universe and DC Universe, they have the idea of the multiverse theory, where, like, every single choice you make, uh, it leads off into a whole bunch of different other branches of a universe. So, right now, there's a universe this, that we're in, which is, or I guess we think is the main universe, the one where you're listening to my commentary and my voice. However, there's also a universe where you decided to get up in the middle of listening to this and just take a shit on your floor. I mean, <laughs> just using that logic, there's an infinite number of, uh universes out there universe of every single choice you've ever made in your life whether or not to sneeze whether or not to wipe your ass after you take a shit just you know like that so would it just branch off or would we like would you kill someone and that would turn out to like you know the president would then get like executed and then we all just freaking explode and die we just we just don't know that and who, who really wants to go out and test that right so there's a lot of dangers behind time travel too also, quickly, I want to mention that Stephen Hawking, uh, a few months ago, actually held a party for time travelers, but the catch was he didn't announce that he was hosting said party until the day after, so no one would just show up and be like, oh yeah, I'm a time traveler, look at me, you know, and just fucking lie their way into it, so, uh, yeah, I thought that was actually really interesting, I'm, I'm kind of upset that he said no one turned up, or at least he's not telling us. Maybe Stephen Hawking just isn't big enough of a platform, maybe if Obama announced that he was having a time travel party, maybe someone would actually show up, I think that'd be pretty cool. So, that is all the time I've left for this gameplay commentary. Please remember to leave a like to support Doom, and remember to go down into the description and check out Rinaldi's channel, and if you guys enjoyed my rambling about time travel, remember to check out my channel too. Like I said earlier in the commentary, I want to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'm going to try to read and respond to as many as possible, and if you're not already subscribed to Doom, make sure you do that as well. That is all the time I have left. Peace.